Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today I got a video with a little bit of a mail day. I believe this is going to be mostly a Michael Jordan mail day. I'm sure a lot of you guys, as long as, as well as me, have been watching the Last Dance documentary on ESPN. Uh, that now that they moved it up and have been showing it on Sunday evenings, uh, in wake of the coronavirus, it was scheduled to kind of release later on in the summer. Uh, but it's been very, very good. Uh, I was somebody who was in high school as the Bulls were making their run especially through the second uh, three-peat. And so sometimes whenever it's on or when I just have free time, I just uh, sc scroll through eBay, try to find some Michael Jordan cards. Obviously, a lot of them are blowing up on prices right now, and so I'm not obviously going to have a giant budget to purchase some of the big, big-time cards. But I picked up a few small ones, and I thought I would show them off. Uh, and then maybe sometime in the future, I can show you my uh, collection, which is not anything overwhelming, but may be pretty interesting for some people to look at because I know a lot of people are getting back into uh, the Michael Jordan and the basketball card um, area. So here we go. Here's the first one. This one came from California. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know my feelings for Stadium Club, whether it's Stadium Club Baseball or in this case, Stadium Club Basketball. This is the member's choice, uh, Michael Jordan. I believe this is maybe 92, 93. Picked up two of these. He's got both of them in the same top loader, which is okay. I've done that. Some people get mad when uh, other people do that. Uh, I really don't have a major, major issue with it. But anytime you can get stadium club cards, man, the fact that there's no border, the photography, it's just so clean, it's so classic. And this is a card I never had, surprisingly, as a kid. So I picked up a couple of them. He had a pretty good price on them. You can see the classic back. Top Stadium Club. Uh, this is 93, it looks like. Look at that. There it is, the first one. Michael Jordan, Top Stadium Club from 93. Okay, that's my first one. Can't remember exactly what I paid for those, just a couple dollars. Uh, that's obviously not a, a high in demand card, but I just love the photography. Here's number two, came from eBay with the giant sticker on the back. This one came from Illinois, I believe, not too far across the river from St. Louis. And we'll see what package number two is. It's got a little invoice in there. I will keep that off camera, but here we go. Oh, he's got a package in here very well. Very, very well. Oh, this is a, this is not Santana Moss. <laughs> if it is, we're gonna have a problem. <laughs> this is, one of the inserts that I didn't have, and I mean, back in the 90s, inserts were where it was at. Let me get this out of here so you can see it. Uh, once again, not the most earth-shattering insert. This is Topps Hoops, NBA Hoops, excuse me. NBA Hoops, Earth Shakers, Michael Jordan. Ooh, I got two of those. I didn't know I ordered two of them. Maybe it was a lot of two, I guess. And there you have it. He's got one of the... Portland Trailblazers there in the background. Earthshakers insert from NBA Hoops. This one has a little bit of damage in the top right-hand corner, but you kind of have to expect some of that for cards that are as old, almost 30 years old. This is from 1996, it looks like. NBA Hoops. Skybox NBA Hoops. Earthshakers insert. Michael Jordan. Two of those. That's a nice one as well. I'm going to go ahead and set those down right there. I'll put them in the top loader later. So we're... Two packages in, doing pretty well. Oh yeah, I did get both of those. Looks like those are about $1.75 a piece. Here's my third package. This one is coming from Texas. From someone called Fuji Moves Sports Cards. I really like the envelope. This one came in. Here's card number three. Now this one was, um, this first one is one of the classic, at least in my opinion, classic kind of junk wax Michael Jordan cards. I actually already have this card. Um, whenever I was still a, a probably a junior high school kid, I had picked up this card, but this one is in much nicer shape than mine because the one that I've had has been obviously moved from binder to binder to been handled away so much that it's kind of not exactly in the best shape. But here you go, Michael Jordan, the classic 1990 Fleer. Um... So it might be off-center a little bit, but I don't really have a major um, major issue with that. That's just a classic card. See Pippin in the background watching him dunk. 
Um, I was very excited to get this card at a pretty good price, especially since the one that I have is in a little bit of bad shape. And this guy also has some others. Now this is Beam Team. This isn't the Top Stadium Club Beam Team, but here's one that I didn't have. Uh, I didn't even know that there was just a regular Topps Beam Team. You have Kevin Johnson, Michael Jordan, and then Dennis Rodman, who's obviously been featured in the uh, third episode pretty heavily. And then, oh, then I have another one of these Top Stadium Clubs. I had forgotten that this card was in here. So now I have three of the Stadium Club cards uh, that I had from my first envelope. So there you go. That's nice. I didn't remember that I had picked up the Stadium Club there in that package as well. All right, we're down to three packages. This next one is from Massachusetts, I believe. This one is in a bubble mailer, so we'll crack it open. It's been a while. I mean, I order these at different times. Like, I ordered um, some of these. Ooh, I know what this one is. Um, this one is the entire set of the Flare Ultra Inside Outside 93-94 Flare Ultra. Um, this card, it was an insert, and there's a lot of the Flare Ultra inserts that have gone absolutely bonkers. Like, the, obviously, the Scoring Kings one with the lightning bolt in the background is probably the most famous, at least that I can think of, Flare Ultra insert, insert for Michael Jordan. Uh, there's some other big name inserts as well. Um, this one is not quite as in demand at the moment. You can still get this. Like, I believe I paid $10 for this entire set. Uh, if you just wanted the Jordan card, you could probably get the Jordan card raw and ungraded for probably, I don't know, five, five to ten dollars, depending on the condition. Uh, this person had the entire set. See, you got Dan Marley, it looks like there on the back. Five of ten. The entire ten card set posted, and I they sent me an offer and I accepted the offer. I believe it was ten dollars for the whole thing. Let's see what we have here. So we have Jordan inside outside. And the thing with these cards is, because they are so, um, kind of so old, and they've got the foil on here, you sometimes you'll see some whitening around the sides here, like the, uh, or around the bottom. You'll see kind of white specks, which this one is in pretty good shape. You've got a little bit of white maybe up there at the top. But you've got the Jordan inside, outside. As far as that, it's in really, the corners look like they're in pretty good shape. we got number four of ten on the back. So Jordan is 4 of 10. Uh, other guys in the set, you've got Larry Johnson. Grandma Ma, I remember him from back in the day. He's 3 of 10. Jimmy Jackson, I believe he was from maybe Ohio State. He was a good player for Dallas there for a while, and then he kind of jumped around. He's number 2 of 10. Patrick Ewing, if you guys remember their PA announcer, Patrick Ewing. Hall of Famer for New York Knicks. He's 1 of 10. Walt Williams, who was a sneaky good player for Sacramento. Not quite as accomplished as some of the other guys. He's number 10 of 10 in the set. We got John Starks, who I despised whenever he played for the New York Knicks. He was just kind of a player that always got on my nerves, even though he was actually a pretty solid player. He's 9 of 10. These are all featuring guys who could score, obviously, from the outside or the inside. Latrell Sprewell, who made the news for choking P.J. Carlissimo, or attempting to choke his coach back in the day, towards the end of his career. He's number 8 of 10. And here you go, Scotty Pippen, one of the best inside-outside scorers. The foil on these in the background, man, I don't remember the odds. I'll have to look up what were the odds of getting one of these inside-outside cards. You can see Pippen, 7 of 10. And then Akeem the Dream, obviously one of the greatest centers of all time, one of the greatest players of all time, is number 6 of 10. And there was the card we saw in the back, Dan Marley. Uh, who was actually very, very talented in his own right. Kind of got overshadowed on those Suns teams by Kevin Johnson and obviously Charles Barkley. Um, but he was very talented as a player himself. So I got this entire set, I believe, for $10, which, I mean, the cards aren't in the most pristine condition. Don't know if I would have a PSA 10, but they aren't in bad condition at all. No complaints. To get the whole set for 10 bucks, that might be one that I hold on to. I know the Jordan is... Uh, one that you can find out there if you're really, really looking for it. Uh, raw, like I said, about $10 or so. I'm just going to leave that open. I'm not really familiar with these jewel cases, and I'm not really comfortable closing that thing back up. So I'm just going to leave it right there. We've got two left. We've got this one, which is 
uh, from Pennsylvania. We'll do this one, and we have one more from Indiana, and that will wrap it up. So thank you guys for watching. Feel free to leave a comment, like it, and uh, subscribe if you'd like. Here we go. Here's another lot. Uh, this is another, just a group of Jordan cards that I picked up. Oh, here's the one that I was really after, this one right here. Which I think I might have already had, but it's just such a classic card. Got this in the team bag here. I like the way they protected those. So we have three cards. They didn't put a piece of tape at the top, so it's kind of there at the top. Uh, coming out of the top of the top saver. This is Skybox Premium. Man, these Skybox cards were so kind of ahead of their time, I think. They just got a classic look. Um, Skybox Premium, there's Jordan going up, obviously, for a dunk or a layup or whatever. Iconic picture. Um, this is from 96, 97. Some of these cards have really taken off in value, like the Flare Metal and the Metal Universe cards, which I don't think I have either one of those. And those are probably a little bit out of my price range right now. But kind of for a, a lower tier, mid tier card, um, these Skybox releases are pretty cool. So I had this one in the lot, as well as uh, this card, which is a little bit lower end, which I just didn't have it. I picked it up because it was part of the lot, and I didn't have it. Top Stadium Club. Um, this is a little bit more towards the end of his career. This is probably the second 3P. Yeah, this is 96-97. Just I could tell by the design. I, I have some cards like this. 96-97, there he is dunking on the Philadelphia 76ers. And then this card, which was one that I was not as attracted to i was more so going for the the first two there uh you can see he's wearing 45 here this is sp i don't have any sp cards it says he's back march 19th 1995 this was his first game back they played indiana um i somewhere i think at my parents house have this game recorded on a vhs tape his first game back march 19th 1995 i believe they lost to indiana i could be wrong about that but there he is this is the 1993-94 SP, or actually it says 1995 SP. Um, it says he celebrated his return to the game, and it's just from the Michael Jordan said it's MJ1. So that one's probably the least valuable of all of them that I had in this in this order, but that's okay. I really like those first two. Those were I think I actually have that card, but I excuse me, I had a good chance to get it again at a nice price, and so I jumped on it. All right, here's my last package to end my Michael Jordan mail day. This one is from Indiana. I'm pretty sure I know which one this is. Um, let's see what type of shape they're in. Got them in a bag here. I'll go ahead and open them up. I've never seen somebody protect cards with a little paper bag there. Oh, okay, now, now we gotta get inside of this. So this may actually take a little bit. Let me get my scissors going here. I think these are also some inserts. Actually, one insert. Um, very well protected. I believe I know what card this is. This is a card that I was looking for. And I actually found a person who had this card on Facebook. And I tried to shoot him a pretty good price. And they said, no, I'm looking for something more like four times what I was willing to pay for it. So like, oh, well, I don't think I want to... <laughs> be a part of that then so i went on ebay and found it at a pretty good price man this was packaged very well look at this now we've got them in a team bed and we've got them with cardboard these people really went out of their way to keep them safe and so here it is guys before i take them off the cardboard this is skybox again electrified um there's shaquille o'neal but this was a two card lot it had the jordan and the o'neal and here's the Jordan. This card's been selling on um, eBay for about anywhere from, I don't know, $10 up to $15, depending on the condition. Uh, this one is in okay shape. You can see if I zoom in here on the corners, you can see a little bit of white on some of the corners, which, I mean, when the card is, what, 23, 25 years old, you're kind of going to expect to have a little bit of that going on. So... I was super happy to pick this up. I believe this was $15 or something close to $15 for the whole lot to get the Jordan Skybox Electrified. This is um, kind of similar to the Scoring Kings one that it has the lightning in the background. And then Shaquille O'Neal to get thrown in there as well. 
Um, I was super happy to get that one as well. So there it is, the Jordan Electrified. The green background stands out. This is a insert, I believe. Um, this card's still pretty readily available on eBay. If you're interested in trying to pick it up yourself, you could probably get it for $10 to $15 easily, uh, raw, and then graded, obviously, would be a little bit higher. So there you have it, guys. These are my Michael Jordan cards that I picked up through the mail. Hopefully you guys can keep watching the ESPN documentary as it continues. I believe part five and six are going to be on this weekend. And thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you all in the next one.